Vice President Barack Obama's patchwork coalition of young, minority, and female voters, especially in swing states, helped secure him another four years in the White House. I'm just elated. I feel like it was worth uh, my vote. His vision of America that's inclusive. Exit polls show women, particularly single women, broke for Obama by large margins over Republican nominee Mitt Romney and felt health care was a top concern. We are independent and we know how to make up our own minds and we like the fact how he felt about um, women's choice when it comes to contraceptives and abortion. Nationally, Obama swept the African-American and Latino votes too with enough room to edge out Romney's lead among whites and men. I'm not happy with how it turned out because I wanted a different president. I'm not happy with the direction the country's going in. Even though Romney was seen as stronger on the economy in many pre-election polls, voters gave Obama another shot to build on modest job growth. I think this election was largely about the economy. If you look at the exit polls, most voters said that this was the most important issue for them. It was Ohio that pushed Obama over the top in the Electoral College tally Tuesday night, and many political experts say his bailout of the auto industry played to his favor. Romney had said the auto industry should go bankrupt. The Obama campaign was able to use that as a cudgel uh, to beat Romney uh, throughout the campaign with that. The auto bailout, that meant a lot to me in general because uh, America was is kind of built on, our, on that industry right there, and Ohio was a big part of that. The president's razor-thin win showed an electorate deeply divided along gender, racial, and economic lines. Noel Wagworth, The Associated Press.